Welcome to my channel I aim to upload these news top 10 summaries daily. Links to all articles in the description if one grabs your attention. From channel 4 under the main headline of Russia-Ukraine conflict. 30-mile long Russian convoy advances on Kyiv. Summary of headline article. A huge convoy of Russian armored vehicles is advancing on Ukraine's capital. Kyiv. As a massive Russian strike hits Ukraine's second city Kharkiv. President Zelensky has called the attacks on Kharkiv, state terrorism, while Boris Johnson has accused Russia of barbaric and indiscriminate attacks. From the sun under the main headline of Putin's barbaric arsenal of vacuum bombs and rockets is Kyiv. Braces for attack. Summary of headline article. He has already unleashed hellish bombardments on Kharkiv has been accused of using so-called vacuum bombs, and has been accused of war crimes on the battlefield. This means more indiscriminate use of force, particularly artillery, ballistic missiles, air strikes and highly destructive attacks using thermobaric weapons, including on the civilian population. Vacuum bombs also known as thermobaric weapons or aerosol bombs, are some of the most terrifying weapons in Putin's arsenal. Thermobaric bombs can rupture your lungs, burst your eardrums, crush your organs, lead to severe concussions and even blind you. Speaking on GMB earlier, General Sir Adrian Bradshaw, former NATO Deputy Supreme Commander, also accused Russia of using devastating vacuum bombs. From The Guardian under the main headline of UK Politics Live. Priti Patel expands entry scheme for Ukrainians but says she will not waive need for visas. Summary of headline article. Latest updates. Downing Street says parents. Grandparents. Children over 18 and siblings of those settled in UK will be allowed entry. From Metro under the main headline of Tearful Ukrainian Woman Tells Boris, Children are protecting NATO from missiles. Summary of headline article. Powerful footage shows Daria Kalinik saying the Prime Minister visited Warsaw rather than Kiev on Tuesday, because he is afraid. Vladimir Putin's children were safe in mansions, while her people are dying and don't know where to run. She said, we are asking for the no-fly zone, and you say in response it will trigger World War III, but what is the alternative Mr. Prime? Minister, you're coming to Poland, you're not coming to Kiev. Prime Minister, you're not coming to Lviv, because you are afraid. He thanked Ms. Kalinik, very much, for asking her question. Adding, I think everybody today has really appreciated it. A round of applause followed his response. From The Guardian under the main headline of Russia-Ukraine war latest. Moscow tells Kyiv residents to leave and threatens a Euro high precision strikes a Euro a Euro. Live. Summary of headline article. This blog is now closed. Follow our live coverage of the Russian invasion here. From Mail Online under the main headline of US and Europe paying Kremlin $1 billion a day for oil and gas. Summary of headline article. But Putin's grip on the world's oil and gas taps means that Europe and the US are still buying almost $1 billion a day from Russia. How Russia is paying the price for Vladimir Putin's £15 billion a day war 1. Economic sanctions. Russia faces a raft of sanctions from Western countries. Including the US. The EU. The UK and their allies. And fresh measures to help Ukrainian refugees fleeing the Russian invasion are likely to be. Introduced as the UK government came under pressure to act pictured. Residents queue to withdraw cash in St. Petersburg BP slides after ditching its stake in Russian 
Oil giant Rosneft BP shares dropped sharply as the markets opened lower again in London while oil prices surged. The oil giant dropped by as much as 7% at the start of trading on Monday following its decision to sell its near 20% stake in Russian oil business Rosneft. From Daily Mirror under the main headline of Foreign Office warns Brits against all travel to Russia in Travel Advice Update. Summary of Headline Article The Foreign Office has issued an update to Russia travel advice warning Brits against all travel to the country due to the ongoing Russian invasion of Ukraine the Foreign Office has updated its Russia travel advice and is now warning Brits against all travel to the whole of Russia following the Russian invasion of Ukraine. The Russia-Ukraine war has already seen a number of airspace closures, including Ukraine airspace. The EU has since announced that because of the Russian invasion of Ukraine, Russian aircraft is banned from operating or entering EU airspace. You can find out more in the FCDO's latest Russia travel advice. If you have a flight booked that goes via Ukraine or Russia airspace, then your flight may still go ahead but via a different route. From Metro under the main headline of huge queues at bus stops after 24-hour tube strikes cause chaos in London. Summary of headline article. Around 10,000 members of the Rail, Maritime and Transport Union, RMT, have walked out for 24 hours in a row over jobs, pensions and conditions. Photos from this morning show huge queues of commuters in the rain at bus stops as they try to get to work. Another traveler complained that Uber was making a huge profit out of the situation by charging £30 extra for customers. It is this political failure that has left tube workers with no choice but to strike this week. The mayor has to decide if he is on the side of key workers who have kept London moving during the pandemic or Tory ministers hellbent on punishing tube workers. From Mail Online under the main headline of Astonishing Moment Diplomats Walk Out During Russian Minister's Speech. Summary of Headline Article. Advertisement This is the astonishing moment dozens of diplomats from around the world today walked out during a speech by Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov at a Geneva disarmament conference in protest against Moscow's invasion of Ukraine. They stood in a circle outside the meeting for the duration of Lavrov's speech, holding a Ukrainian flag, before diplomats walked out on Lavrov's pre-recorded video message. A minute of silence was held for the victims of fighting in Ukraine. It is important that the Human Rights Council shows with this walkout that it is united with Ukraine and with the people of Ukraine. The morning meeting of the disarmament conference kicked off with a minute of silence for the victims in Ukraine. From Daily Star under the main headline of Ukraine accuses Russia of using vacuum bomb that can vaporize human flesh. Summary of headline article. What are vacuum bombs? Has Russia used vacuum bombs? Image. CNN. Russia and Western forces have used vacuum bombs since the 1960s. How do vacuum bombs work? The U.S. previously relied on vacuum bombs in its attempts to eliminate al-Qaeda in the mountains in Afghanistan. Many thanks for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe and click the bell to get your daily notifications. Have a great day and goodbye.